So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but to take a while. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take her by YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer. Joined once again by my faithful manservant Slash Bucktotem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for Resident Evil 6. So, dear viewer, Resident Evil 6 was released in 2012 and is, unsurprisingly, the sixth main entry in Capcom's Resident Evil franchise. Who could have guessed? Ah, sarcasm. Don't say words you can't spell, Bertram. <clears throat> so, what is Resident Evil 6? Well, I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. Like a queen from RuPaul's Drag Race, Resident Evil 6 is large, loud, and proud, and unlike that queen, won't give you an STD. Resident Evil 6 is the summer blockbuster of Resident Evil games. But thankfully, you don't have to sit in a crowded cinema of delinquent children and couples fornicating in the back row. This is Resident Evil if it was directed by Michael Bay. Just without all the unnecessary shots of Megan Fox's backside. Tis a lovely backside, though. As you may have already gleamed, dear viewer, I love this game. And sadly, I found out the hard way that admitting you like this game is more dangerous than making love on a roller coaster. While it's on fire. While attempting to solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh! What happened, sir? Well, Bertram, I once admitted that I loved this game to a close, trusted friend of mine, and he just melted into a bloody gelatinous gloop. Oh, that doesn't sound dangerous. Ah, but you weren't there, Bertram. You weren't there. What if he had got some of himself on my coat? I shudder at the thought. So you see, Bertram, it was a most dangerous situation indeed. So, story. I'll make this as idiot-proof as possible. For Bertram's benefit, of course. That's not nice. Shut up, Bertram. So... We have a massive story spanning several time periods in which Leon Kennedy, Chris Redfield, Sherry Birkin, and a certain son of Albert Wesker get dragged into terror attacks instigated by an organization calling themselves Neo Umbrella. Oh! And we also have the death of the president and an evil Ada Wong. This is B-movie goodness, and I love it. Now, the game has four story campaigns, and each of these are about the length of an average Resident Evil title. So this game is not so much Resident Evil 6, as much as it is Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 6.1, Resident Evil 6.2, 
and Resident Evil 6.4. Oh, what happened to 6.3? Ah, well you see, that's been delayed indefinitely. But I'm sure it'll release before CD Projekt Red managed to fix that abomination known as Cyberpunk 2077. Ah, so never. Yes, Bertram, that sounds about right. You know, you gave yourself a massive sausage when you played that game. Yes, I did, Bertram. Yes, I did. Nothing wrong with a bit. Uh, nothing wrong with a lot of wishful thinking. Now, no matter what kind of Resident Evil fan you are, Resident Evil 6 will have a campaign for you. Are you a fan of the more survival horror entries like the original Resident Evil or its remake? Well then, Leon's campaign is for you. Are you a fan of the more action oriented titles like 4 or 5? Well, then Chris's campaign is for you. And, if you like a bit of both, then you have Jake's campaign. Oh, and if you are one of those Resident Evil fans who lives in their mother's basement, masturbates at least four times a day, and enjoys dominating goldfish, then, um... Then I look forward to reading about your future exploits as a serial killer. Yes. So, if I haven't managed to annoy you enough with my adoration for Resident Evil 6, dear viewer, then this next section might just tip you over the edge. To illustrate a point, I am going to compare Res Resident Evil. I almost slipped up my words there. I am going to compare Resident Evil 6, a game that received mostly negative reviews, with Resident Evil 4, a game that receives overwhelming praise even to this day. I'll be ready. So, Resident Evil 4 features Leon Kennedy, as does Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil 4 has set pieces, as does Resident Evil 6. More, in fact. There are more set pieces in this game than a bloody game of chess. Things like Climbing up the side of a building while fighting some deformed abomination. Outrunning a helicopter while riding a motorcycle. Fighting a gigantic monster that's more well hung than King Bloody Kong. And many, many more. Resident Evil 4 has almost no connection to the previous games. Well, Resident Evil 6 not only connects to many of the previous games, but it actually features characters from the previous games. I was glad to see Sherry Birkin return in this game, and even more glad to see that she hadn't inherited her father's massive eye. And can I just say that Resident Evil 6's version of Ada is my personal favorite. She's smart, witty, and most important of all, has a body so hot that it would melt the polar ice caps. And we get to play as her for an entire campaign. You know, I'm surprised I was able to finish with all of the drooling. Uh, I mean, exploring I was doing. 
Oh, and can I also just say that I didn't know what premature ejaculation was until I played this game and saw Chris Redfield and Leon Kennedy in the same scene. Back to the subject at hand. Resident Evil 4 is mostly an action game, as is Resident Evil 6, but let's not forget that Resident Evil 6 has the Leon and Ada campaigns, both of which focus more on the survival horror aspects. There are sections of Leon's campaign that filled me with as much fear as that time I was having a drink with Bella Lugosi and he informed me that he had a... What was it he called it? Uh, oh yes, a chubby. I tell you, Bertram, my wrist hasn't been the same since. Oh, left or right? Do you think that makes a difference? I masturbated a celebrity and wasn't even paid for my troubles. And left, if you must know. Moving swiftly on, Resident Evil 4 has Ashley Graham, who is not only annoying, but is a whore. According to Wikipedia, at least. Okay, Wikipedia doesn't say that, but that does not make it not true. Aha! Resident Evil 6 not only has better partners, but they are actually useful. Piers is a badass. Sherry Birkin is... Sherry Birkin. And Helena? Well, I'm sure she makes a killer cabanana. Resident Evil 4 does not feature zombies. The staple enemy of the Resident Evil games. But Resident Evil 6 does. Resident Evil 4 has one campaign. And no, the Ada add-on doesn't count. Everything in that is recycled from the main game. Now, what was I saying? Uh, oh yes, yes, now I remember. Now, Resident Evil 4 has one campaign. Resident Evil 6 has four. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here, dear viewer? You are saying that, um... Uh... I don't know. What are you saying? Thank you, Bertram, for illustrating your stupidity for not only me, but our viewers as well. What I was saying, Bertram, was that, um... Um... Uh, damn it. I'd forgotten. Moving swiftly on. In the end, dear viewer, this game is bigger than Godzilla's nutsack. Crazier than Nicolas Cage in a bear costume. Sillier than Nicolas Cage in a bear costume. Longer than a line of virgins waiting for the new iPhone vagina attachment. And more action packed than playing Twister with Chuck Norris. I love every second of it. Agree, disagree, mock me, hate me, send me your money, send me your underpants, send me something. Oh, and while you're doing that, I am going to give Resident Evil 6 a 9 out of 10. Well, My review for Resident Evil 6. If you've enjoyed
enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Share the video to everyone you know. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Now I remember. I was saying that Resident Evil 6 is a better Resident Evil game than Resident Evil 4. And in my humble opinion, does not deserve the hate that it... Oh, you're gone. Damn it! Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously. Piss off. Be gone. Au revoir. I'll be the same. Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away! Vacate this space! Hit the cross at the top of the screen! The video is done! It's over! It's finito! It's caputo!